Hello, I'm Yi Chen Wu. In this paper, we discuss how to train your networks for flare removal. When a camera is pointed at a strong light source, the resulting photograph may contain lens flare artifacts. Flares appear in a wide variety of patterns, and this diversity in appearance make flare removal challenging. In this work, we present a technique that takes a single image with lens flare and recovers a flare-free image. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first general-purpose lens flare removal algorithm using machine learning. Why is there no previous work in learning-based flare removal? This is likely due to the incurrent difficulty of generating training data. A standard data collection as shown on the left side will have two main challenges. First, image pairs must be well aligned. This will be a particularly difficult requirement given that most lens flares occur outdoors. Second, if the light source is inside the view, when we block the light source, the scene is also blocked it. As a result, the light source must be out of view, which means that many types of flare cannot be captured. To overcome this data collection challenge, we propose a semi-synthetic approach to build a training set. In a real camera system, there are mainly two types of flare caused by scattering or internal lens reflection. Based on the flare formulation model, we have three key observations. First, given the additive nature of light, we can model flare as an extra artifact on the top of the ideal image. Second, for the scattering flare, it will be device dependent because the defect from each camera can be different. Training from one device might not generalize well for other same type devices. Instead, we build a wave optics model. We simulate the sensor image given a lens characterized by a random aperture function. Detailed derivations can be found in the paper. Third, for the reflective flare, it is hard to model given that precise lens designs are not publicly available. But we find that the reflective flare patterns are similar across devices. So we collect data in a laboratory setting. The camera is rotated programmably to record flares from all viewing angles. We combine clean images and flare to synthesize flare cropped images. After that, a convolutional neural network is trained to recover the clean scene. Many network architectures are suitable for our task, and we find UNet works the best for our case. Finally, we blind the input light source back into the predicted image. We create a mask based on the saturation region and keep those saturated pixels in the final blended image. It makes the final output look more realistic. Now, I've talked about the entire pipeline. Let's take a look at the results. Here are real input images. And here are the output results. Note that even our model is trained purely in a synthetic way. It generalized well in real data. Here are examples when the light source is out of view. The flare appears to be quite different from the previous two. Still, our model works well for those cases. Even for challenging scenes like night light with large noise or multiple light source are present in the scene, the model still works well. Here is a visual comparison with related works. Our method removes lens flare more accurately and produces cleaner output. We also test our model on different camera designs, exclude from the training. The model is still able to reduce lens flare effectively. This indicates that our approach can be potentially be used for a broad range of cameras. In summary, we build a semi-synthetic data generation pipeline to achieve single image flare removal without the need of real training data. Please visit our project page for more information. Thank you.